strong cobbly i just want to introduce you to my next project this is a 2022 polaris pro r ultimate that we are converting to electric and we are putting a tesla rear large drive unit out of a 2015 Tesla Model S P85D. This is a performance spec. That is where the motor is going to sit for the final build. We've moved it about three times. We started with it back in here, in this area where the four cylinder engine was to begin with. And this is what we've ended up with. So this is a P85D rear drive unit. It's called a large drive unit. It's about 530 horsepower-ish. You can see we've already got a drive line fitted in it, and we'll talk about that, and we'll talk about the battery more. One thing I do want to note that we have the engine for this vehicle that we are going to sell, the four-cylinder, two-liter gasoline engine. You can see here, this is the rear seat bracket. We are going to have to probably move that up two inches but we'll still have plenty of leg room for the passengers back here. So we're mounting this engine transfer case style. We do have to change the gearing in it and we do have to put a locking differential in it, but it is turning the same direction as it did in the, the Tesla that we took it out of. Over here is the motor. This is the motor that was in this. We are going to probably sell this real soon. And the transmission and the clutching. That'll probably go on eBay. If anybody's interested, you're welcome to email me. Cobbly at hotmail.com. But there it is. That's the next project. Should be done by the SEMA show in 2023. This is Ron Cobbly. I want to show you what we're doing here for the drive axles on this four seat Pro R conversion that we are doing. This is a Tesla stub shaft that sits inside the transmission gearbox motor assembly. We took this and we put it on a lathe and split it, cut this off the one that we have right here that's built. And then we took this piece and welded it to this one of these adapters. This adapter is I believe that this is, uh, it's Ford on one side and Land Rover on the other. It's an adapter to adapt a Ford to a Land Rover, but nevertheless, we took one of these and one of these on a lathe and cut it, welded it together in the inside, welded it around here, put it in a lathe and trued it up. And this is what we have that's going to go to our drive shaft and bolt up here. I got this, this drive shaft is custom made for me. Axis Driveline in North Salt Lake, Utah built this. The gentleman's name is Eric and he does fantastic work. And if we come over here with this, this shit's here in the back of the gearbox. And then there's one we're going to make the other one for the one up here in the front of the gearbox for our prop shafts. The motor's just sitting in there on two by fours right now. And by the way, the name of this project is going to be a Tesla R. Thanks for watching. We'll talk about the battery soon.